Warning, the following video you're about to witness features mass calorie consumption performed by a trained professional idiot under the supervision of, well, no one actually. Accordingly, since I am that trained professional idiot, I must insist that no one attempt to reenact anything seen in this video. On October 17th, 2017, I took down 40,000 plus calories in one day. Since then, I've eaten millions of calories in preparation for the next insane calorie challenge. In this video, I attempt to consume 50,000 plus calories in one day. That's about 20 to 25 days worth of food for the average male. The rules for this challenge are quite simple. Rule number one, I have 24 hours to consume 50,000 calories. Rule number two, there are no other rules. Mainly because of the absurdity of this challenge, I can consume anything I desire to get to that calorie goal. Peanut butter, milk, candy. I could even eat an entire humpback whale if I wanted. I'm not really sure why I'd want to do that, but I think you get the point. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 50,000 calorie cheat day challenge. Tomorrow, I gotta eat 50,000 calories. But before we do that, it's time to go shopping. All right, everybody, so tomorrow the madness begins. Now, if you guys have watched calorie challenges for me before, you'll know that I like to incorporate deliciousness like this in my videos, but this is a calorie number I never thought I'd be going for. So I got a lot of fun foods like that, but I also have some very, very calorie dense foods in the mix as well. For example, we got olive oil right here. This container of olive oil right here has 12,000 calories in it. That will come in handy. This five pound jar of peanut butter has about 13,500 calories in it. So I'll be most definitely making use of those tomorrow. I'm gonna be waking up super early to get tomorrow's challenge started. And for the first time in one of my calorie challenges, I'm gonna be incorporating a restaurant challenge. Now that may be a good decision or it may be a horrible decision. I don't really know, but tomorrow I'm gonna find out. <sighs> that being said, it's time to get this calorie challenge started. Almost 6.30 on the dot. Hi there, can I get four hash browns, please? Three bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddles, please? One orange juice, please? I'm sorry, our orange juice machine isn't working right now. No. Okay, caramel macchiatos, can you do those hot? Oh uh, yeah, would you like a small, medium, or large? Let's go ahead and do a medium, please. One cinnamon roll. Thank you. Awesome, thanks so much, take care. It's Krispy Kreme time. I'm pretty sure I've had Krispy Kreme in like every calorie challenge. So naturally, I had to start here. I just wanted to get an assorted dozen, please. One a hot chocolate, please. Thank you. Awesome, thanks a lot. Take care, right? Thank you. All right, folks, we got our deliciousness. Now it's time to get this calorie challenge underway. All right, folks, it's time to get this started. Without further ado, everybody, this is meal number one of the 50,000 calorie cheat day challenge. Let's do this. First, I gotta break it open just like that. All right. I'm telling you guys right now, nothing hits like apple fritter steel. Kind of miss having a table right now. Alrighty, so we got two, four, six donuts left. Let's go after the filled ones now. There are two types of people in this world, people that like filled donuts and people that don't like filled donuts. I'm a person that loves filled donuts. Custard filled. Oh, 
right, so our first beverage is down. Now, we got some hot chocolate. Oh, Krispy Kreme. Not only do you do donuts right, but you do hot chocolate right. Ooh, that is good. Everybody, today, calories are just delicious points. All right, everybody, while well, our first dozen donuts is down, Woo! I got some deliciousness in McDonald's, hash browns, and the griddles. But believe it or not, this is actually the pre-breakfast. My bigger breakfast is actually gonna be in a little bit, but I wanted to get a meal in before I go for my run after I finish this. So I'm gonna save the McGriddles and the other deliciousness for breakfast. But I have to get these hash browns in. Oh, just take a moment. Woo! Nothing hits like McDonald's hash browns. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Well, our hot chocolate, our caramel macchiato, assorted donuts, and four hash browns are done. So it's about 7.18 right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories consumed right up there. Total macros will be right up there as well. I mentioned it earlier, but I do have a restaurant challenge planned for later. So that, along with the fact that I gotta eat 50,000 calories today, there's a lot of stuff I gotta manage up here, okay? But I'm gonna try to pace myself, do the best I can. Now that that's out of the way, I gotta get my health and fitness on. The run is all done. Now I'm gonna be attempting to eat 50,000 calories today. There's no way I'm gonna be burning 50,000 calories. So that's why I'm getting all of my activity out of the way as early in the day as possible. Now that that's all done, it's time for breakfast. Number two. This is the breakfast of champions. Normally I try to stay away from liquid calories during my calorie challenges, but today, all of that went out the window. High calorie shakes are an essential when you're trying to consume 50,000 calories in 24 hours. The other essentials are peanut butter and Nutella. And another much needed essential for this challenge, coconut oil. Lots of coconut oil. Blend all that up with some Hershey syrup and ladies and gentlemen, you've got three entire days worth of calories that you can pour directly into three of your favorite cups. All right, everybody, so we got everything assembled and ready to go. Just so you guys know what time it is, it's about 1020, July 15th. We have McGriddles, we have these pancake Hot Pockets right here, and a mashup cereal I've never tried before, just came out. And of course, we have these epic shakes right here. I just gotta say right now, I'm definitely gonna be making use of my blender for for what I've got going on today because I'm definitely gonna need to get in a lot of calories. Pretty sure these three shakes right here are between five to 6,000 calories. Apart from that, I got my coffee right here just in case I need it and also some milk. Anyways, everyone, I'm ready to get this started. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories for this meal right up there for you all and total macros will be right over there as well. It's time for meal number two. I think we're gonna start with our Hot Pockets first, but if you guys haven't already, you know what you gotta do. You gotta give the video a like if you happen to poop today. Anyways, let's get started. All right, folks, here we go. Three, two, one. Not bad. Hot pockets are down. I don't know about those, but I wouldn't buy them again. I'd eat them again, just not buy them again. Everyone, it's like the cereal is liquid chocolate peanut butter. <laughs> This is almost too much chocolate and peanut butter. I never thought I'd be thinking that, but I am. Oh, 
All right, folks, well, for Reese's Puffs, I'd say, yeah, I'm gonna say about half of those are left. I love Reese's Puffs, everybody, but how much chocolate and peanut butter has been in those shakes, I'm uh, gonna save half of that for another time. These are some rich shakes. Whew. As I eat a cinnamon roll. Mm. All right, McDonald's has been completed. And um, second shake is down. Now this is, this is very interesting. They've mashed up Frosted Flakes and Apple Jacks. Moment of truth, there we go. Pleasantly surprised. Not bad. I was gonna get a fire. All this cereal probably wasn't the best choice this early on in the day. Just another, uh, now the challenge with her. And this is only the beginning. <laughs> Cereal's down. All three of our shakes are down. You know, I picked this Cadbury bar just to show some love to my European subscribers. Because I love you guys. Ooh. All right, folks, I think that's gonna wrap up meal number two. I know I still have my Snickers and Twix over here. I'm gonna save those for later. I'm chocolate and peanut buttered out. <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and list the total calories consumed right up there so far, and total macros consumed so far will be right over there. It's currently 10.56 right now. Like I mentioned earlier, I got a restaurant challenge in a few hours, but before I get to that, it's time for me to get one final health and fitness session in. I feel like I just took a bath in Reese's peanut butter cups. The bike rides down. Now it's time for a burger challenge. How's it going? I had a reservation, I think. For it's... the Hall of Fame burger? Yeah, yeah, All yeah. Right. right at table 19, which is our main table. For okay, sweet. A few of my friends actually have done this challenge before. My friend Natter did this and Kevin Ross did this. I think they did it in just around 25 minutes. And also, Reyna did this challenge. I think Reyna is the one that has the record for this at like 22 or 23 minutes. Now I'm gonna show you guys this burger being made. Only four out of a couple hundred people have ever completed the MVP burger challenge. Today, after about 16,000 calories, I hope to be the fifth person. This burger challenge features three massive one pound burger patties that are topped and stuffed with delicious cheese. They also add in some pulled pork for extra deliciousness, grilled onions and jalapeno peppers just to make things interesting. And each slice of Texas toast is strategically layered with garlic aioli for extra deliciousness. They also add in bacon, because what's a burger challenge without bacon? And to add some much needed crunch to this burger, they throw a ton of crispy onions on top. After that step, they sandwich another patty in between those crispy onions. And if you're wondering at this point how this massive burger is gonna be staying together, you'll find out in just a few seconds. To balance out the 8,000 plus calories, they add some healthy vegetables to the mix. And the final patty is loaded on top, along with some pulled pork. As someone who's done multiple burger challenges over the years, the addition of the pulled pork is what made this burger challenge truly remarkable. As we near the completion of the burger, they load up the final layer with some jalapenos, peppers, and onions. And then it's topped with one final slice of Texas toast. To keep this masterpiece from falling over, they stuck it with some skewers. But the secondary purpose for the skewers was for the topping some onion rings. Now the burger's the main challenge, but we do need to get in some complex carbohydrates, so they made sure to add fries on the side. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, it's game time. All right, everybody, so we have the MVP burger right here. This is 
delicious looking. I'm not really too sure if I wanna go for speed or if I wanna enjoy this one. I also got some fries over here. And unfortunately we have pickles. I'm not the biggest fan of pickles, but you know, when challenges have pickles in them, you gotta complete the challenge. So there is a 30 minute time limit on this challenge. If I'm able to get this down in under 30 minutes, I get the meal for free and I get a sweet t-shirt as well. I also got some ranch over here and I think I'm ready to get this challenge started. Without further ado, this is meal number three. Three, two, and one. Absolutely sensational. So there's actually cheese inside of the patties. All right, everybody, so we are four minutes in. This is the best burger challenge I've ever done. It tastes absolutely amazing. Alrighty, folks, so all of our meat has been down. We are uh, six minutes and 50 seconds in. Now we get a little uh, vegetarian sandwich right here. You guys have amazing ranch. Just gotta say that right now. Get my seven, seven servings a day of vegetables. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh man, those chili peppers are hot. Ooh. All right, so 12 minutes in. Now we have onion rings, fries, and pickles. You gotta do what you gotta do. Ooh. These pickles. Oh, these are brutal. All right, everybody. So. The burger's been fully completed at 16 minutes. Now we just got our fries left. You guys know we're all about exercise. We're also about extra fries. I don't know, I think I'm full. All right, so 20 minutes and seven seconds, the beast has been tamed. That was an awesome burger. I've done a lot of burger challenges in my life. That was the best, by far. Big shout out to uh, Humul Casino for having me out. Definitely, if you're in San Diego, come out and check this place out. They make amazing burgers. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put total calories consumed right up there, and total macros as well will be right up there. Just so you guys know what time it is. So it's 4.05, it's a date and time. Good. I'll take another one. Two. No. No. Nah. Nah. Oh, yeah. That's it. Sweet. Thank you so much. Alrighty, folks. So we uh, crushed that burger challenge. This is my victory dessert. Sensational. This is a strawberries and cream frappuccino because I got to get some sort of fruit in today. <laughs> Gotta do a little physique check 
right now for you guys because you're probably wondering. How does it look? I can see your six pack. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head back home. I'm gonna take some recovery time and then get into meal four. If I survive the ride home. Now it's time to make meal number four. For meal number four, I realized that I needed to go back to doing what I do best, creating sugary masterpieces that no sane human being should be eating, themselves at least. Since it's summertime and I love s'mores and I love cookies, I decided to make a massive 5,000 plus calorie Nutella s'mores cookie. Now, since this is loaded with calories, Ladies and gentlemen, it fit in perfectly with my diet for the day, as did this DiGiorno pizza. At this point, stomach space is becoming incredibly limited, which is why I had to go back to the shakes. Oh, those delicious, delicious shakes. To maximize my calories, I added in this Tolberone bar and some olive oil, and as to be expected, some Hershey syrup. And just like that, I had about a day and a half worth of calories. And to finish things off, I added in some cookies and some trail mix. Actually, a lot of trail mix. All right, everybody, so it is time for meal number four. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, right now, it's, uh, this is where it really gets, really gets difficult, but here we are. It's been a long time since I've done like a crazy calorie challenge like this. So uh, trying to do the best I can. I just gotta say, if you guys are enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you guys smash that thumbs up button and Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because you guys get to see more craziness like this. Because if this video gets 50,000 likes, I will do this every single day for an entire week. Just kidding. Yeah, definitely kidding. Uh, but you should like the video anyways. Anyways, everybody, what time is it? Goodness, eight o'clock and it's time flies when you're having fun. Okay, so it is 8.07 right now. You guys can see the time right there. So I've, how many calories do I have? That's 500, 3,000, 5,000. It seems like I forgot something. Miscalculated something in my calorie totals for the day, so I do indeed have to finish this pack of Oreos. Okay, anyways, folks, we have a 5,000 calorie s'mores Nutella cookie right there. Like that is, whoa. I've made a sizable dent in this Nutella jar, all right? Uh, I also made two very high calorie shakes again. I put some olive oil in here for easy calories, along with some Hershey syrup. And then we have our plate of easy calories right here with some cookies, Oreos, and a lot of trail mix. And just like that, folks, I think we're ready to get meal number four officially started. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories right up there for you guys, and total macros will be right up there as well. Without further ado, this is meal number four. This is how I cut my carbs. Okay, you guys, you, I had, you had to give me one joke in this video. Okay, it's, it's like the free pass. Can't guarantee there won't be more of those. And here we go. So far, so good. Now it's time for an addition. Now you guys are probably wondering what wow sauce is. It's actually my own little secret creation, all right? Been making up some new stuff in the kitchen lately. One of those things has been some sauce. So, here we are. W! Oh! W! Mm. Probably one of the dumbest things I've ever tried to do in my life. Actually, I feel like I say that on a weekly basis, so never mind. Alright, pizza's pretty much down. I'm gonna move that over to the side. I'm not gonna waste stomach space right now on the crust. What is this? Salted caramel brownie Oreos. Apparently they're topped with salt. Not bad. First shake is down. 
Oh man. Oh, guys, this is this is gonna be rough. <clears throat> Keep pushing. Now uh, the moment of truth. Let's see if this massive Nutella s'more cookie is gonna be the star of the show. Nutella s'mores cookie. That is Nutella Central right there. Wow. I don't even know why I'm bothering cutting this, but at this point, I don't really even think it matters. Don't do that at home. Remember, I'm a trained professional idiot. And it's a common occurrence on this channel that I just eat marshmallows off the knives. Mm. I'm gonna be a marshmallow tomorrow morning. Ooh. cookie Nutella thing left. Gotta get to this trail mix. Get some easy calories in. Oh. Ooh. Everyone, I just get to the point where I don't even know what I'm thinking or doing anymore. I'm just shoving food down my throat. Whatever happened to you guys? Can you do the same thing? Maybe not like this. Everybody, I feel like I'm about to, I'm about to give birth to a baby made of Nutella. How many hours do I have left? Oh, oh like 10? 10 hours left? The ride's gonna be rough. Anyways, let's put some wild sauce on this cookie right here. I'm just kidding. It's good, but the wild sauce is more of a savory thing. I think you guys can understand. Let everybody has been meal number four. Yeah, I feel exceptionally terrible right now, as is to be expected. I'm gonna go ahead and put total calories consumed right up there, total macros right up there as well. It is now 8:44. Everyone, I just I I don't know if I can do this. I think that that restaurant challenge earlier that may have been the bad decision of the video. I mean, there's been multiple bad decisions in this video. I'm gonna veg out, probably go for a walk, and I'm hoping within the next few hours I. Get some hunger back. I'm going for a nightly walk. Just get that circulation going, get that blood flowing, that digestion moving. Oh, yeah, the digestion is really starting to hit me right now. I guess it's time for a midnight snack. After spending about half of an eternity in the bathroom, don't worry, I washed my hands. It was time for some more high calorie shakes. At this point, the thought of consuming solid food was pretty much out of the question. So I did what I could, which in this case meant going back to the shakes. Oh, those delicious, delicious shakes. And because the last thing I wanted to do was have this meal just be me drinking a ton of shakes, I gravitated towards the most calorie dense foods I could possibly eat. Trail mix and cheesecake. Oh, and Doritos, strictly for flavor fatigue purposes. All right, folks, so here we are. 
I'm so tired. Oh. I've been up for almost 24 hours now. Believe it or not, I was up at about 4 a.m. yesterday morning. It feels crazy just saying that, but yeah. Anyways, here we are. Almost 1 a.m. July 16th. Looks like we have basically six hours left in this challenge. Got my ice cream right there. Yeah, this is this is probably not gonna be that crazy of a meal because I feel like I'm A, about to give birth, and B, I feel like I'm about to, to fall asleep. It's been a rough past few hours, but here I am. Uh, we got cheesecake, trail mix, Doritos, and the shakes. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories right up there. Total macros will be right up there as well. And uh, let's get into it. This is meal number number five. Meal number five. Chocolate chip cookie dough core. Yum. These are purely for flavor 15 purposes. Cheesecake. Yes. What a day today has been. What a day. You know, if you guys are still watching up at this point, if you guys want to see more calorie challenges, comment down below Dorito. And don't forget to like the video. And do it for me. Please don't puke. Please don't puke. Please don't puke. Please don't puke. Oh, so many nuts. That's what she said. I feel like my taste buds have been obliterated. about 121 right now. Total calories, we can put them right over there. And uh, total macros, we'll be right over there. And I gotta pull something together because I only got a few hours left. Oh, just so you guys know, what do I like after all these calories? Oh, oh man. Oh man. It's like I got a newborn baby in there. Because I was in dire need of some beauty sleep, and with how exhausted I was after this meal, I decided to close my eyes and lay on the couch for an hour nap. Unfortunately, that hour nap turned into a seven hour nap. All right, everybody, well, it's the next morning. Fortunately, I slept through my alarm, and it is now the 25th hour. It is now 8.47, which means, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get 50,000 calories down within 24 hours. Honestly, everybody, I was beyond tired with my eyes closed last night. So unfortunately, that's why I fell a little bit short. But anyways, folks, we're here. It's 8.47 in the morning, and I'm gonna finish this challenge, or try to at least. 320 grams. Four hostess cakes, I got some of the milk over here. Without further ado, this is meal number six. For my peanut butter people, comment down below. <laughs> Alright, Wolfie. 
peanut butter falls down. Be sure to stick around if you guys want to see my post-challenge weight. And it's just like that, everybody. That has been another challenge. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories consumed right up there for you guys. The total macros will be right up there as well. If you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to go ahead and put another calorie challenge that I think you're going to enjoy right alongside over there, along with the playlist that I think you're going to enjoy as well. Once again, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next crazy food challenge.